Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, a user asked how to make this design. I've got a strategy. Let me show you how. Step one is going to be create new 3D design. I'm going to name this Deco Shelf. I do not know the exact measurements, but I have a technique. Let me tell you to start by searching for the soft box. When you type soft, it'll show up. When you bring this out, you'll recognize those are the same curves that we saw in that other project. Now that was supposed to be a scale of one to 12. I do not know the real measurements, so I'm just gonna have fun with this. The first thing I'm gonna do is make my wall 1.5. I'm gonna keep the outer radius of six. I'm gonna take this X measurement and I'm gonna make it 60 and see if that looks like what I wanted. I think that's going to be pretty fantastic. I am going to change Z to 15 just so it has a different look. The one in the project was wood, so I'm going to make it brown. And friends, it is time to stand it up. If you look at this from a corner, you can use the view cube, hold down shift, and it rotates 45 degrees at a time. Bingo! You can see that is the original way we want it located. If we do D to drop, it is at zero, or sitting, on the work plane. After another quick look at this, I think this is a little taller. So let's go back to our project. And I believe this is still going to be Y, because I rotated it. Let's make it 25 and press enter. Bingo! Yes, I think that is exactly how I want it. Now I'm going to raise it up 10. I'm going to switch to a 5 millimeter nudge, and I'm going to do control up 1, 2. Let's go back and find a cylinder for the little legs in between it. When you set it down, I'm going to do shift stretch, and then I want to make this size 5 and press enter. We know we have to stretch that up 10 because of the nudge that only took one click. I'm going to make it the brown so it matches. I'm going to set a bevel to 2. And I'm going to set the steps to 5 and press enter. Notice this is going to sit under there just perfect. The height matches. And then we just need to line them up. So I'm going to do control D. 5 millimeter nudge this way. So there's a gap between them. I'm going to do control G to group those. Control D to make another set. I did shift nudge and I went too far. I'm going to find the gap that I think is perfect, and I like that right there. If I do Control G, I can now select all of that, choose a line, make this the boss, look at it from a corner so you can see what I'm doing. I want middle, and then I want to look at it from this corner because then you can see that I want middle. Just like that, we've got layer one. Are you ready for this? Control D, W for work plane and D for drop to put it on the next level. Friends, I've got a cool way for this for the last one. We're going to select them, do control D, click on cruising, grab one of these middle dots and just set it on top. How cool is that? Now you can select it, do L for a line and make sure you have it lined up and bingo, you have just made a fun art deco shelf. Of course, if you want different measurements, you can adjust them as needed. Now, friends, when you're done with any project, don't forget you can share it with the world. Simply click up here on the gear, choose the properties. I also fill in the description note this tutorial will be pasted here in a minute. These are different ways that you can either find my channel or reach me. Give it some tags. If you want me to see what you created, you can type HLMT23. I try and check this tag almost every day to see what people have created and give them reactions. Finally, you need to make it public, and then I always choose Attributions, No Derivatives, because I want you to come up here, find the tutorial, and gain some awesome skills. After you've completed that step, if you visit the gallery, of course you'll be able to see all the amazing staff picks. Don't forget, click on them and give them reactions. If you shut off staff picks, you'll be able to see all the amazing designs that people have posted. Remember, if you see something you think is cool, make sure you give it a reaction. After a little bit, you'll also be able to find your design in the list. How cool is that? I'm going to give this one a reaction while I'm here. 
just an added bonus friends if you click on the user you'll be transported to see all of their designs most likely sorted by likes of course if you click on any of my designs you'll find a tutorial and reactions are appreciated if you want to see what I'm working on lately just switch to recent of course I hope you're enjoying the new domino designs and then don't forget, each week there are five new profile shorts. You can always click right here to see the latest that's been posted. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, an awesome deco shelf. Let's do one more thing, check out this new background feature. You can pick a different background so your project stands out. I am also going to click on settings and I'm going to shut off the grid, which I think makes it look even cooler which I think is awesome for taking screenshots. Once again, I do want to thank the user for the question, and hopefully you guys have fun making your own Art Deco shelf. Friends, I do want to quickly remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then also day one lessons, useful starters, and Tinkercad essentials. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.